Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. In our last episode, we roamed around the island with our new companion, Marin, and we explored some of the funnier things that you can do in this game with her. Um, now, the thing is, I missed the two things that I wanted to show you before we actually move on to the Yarna Desert. I know, I know, it's been three or four videos, we haven't actually gotten any dungeon work done, but we will get there, I promise. So in order to do so, we're going to go and travel back. <coughs> I'm sorry, something I caught in my throat there. We're going to travel back to the Maid Village. Because there's actually a really kind of funny scene. So hopefully, the plan for this is to travel down. I might actually cut some of the traveling time. Um, yeah, I might actually cut this part right here. And give you a bit of a break. Probably not. <laughs> Suck it up. I have to wait tomorrow. I've been updating pretty much every day, so... You know, one more day wait. It's the worst that could happen. We'll get something then, though. I promise. So we'll kill these moblins here, move forward down south. And they really are... They're, they're worth it, I think. I mean, how often... This is a once in the... This happens once in the game, unlike other things that you can do at almost any point in time. Might as well enjoy it. Show it off. And then suck it up. So this next part, uh, nope, she doesn't care about the dog, though. Huh. Uh, the next part is the trendy game, and she wants to give it a try. So, give her, let's let her do it. You've got shop owner. Da 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 da. <laughs> Apparently, she's a pro at the crane game. Alright. Next up is it's really short, probably not as worth it as the last one, but the hell, we'll do it anyways. So it requires us going to um, any of the dungeons. We'll go to uh, Tail Cave just because it's closest. Let's get my feathers move faster. No, oh, no. Rocked rocks. Let's take her dungeon crawl. Or. Maybe not. That was all. So she decides not to come with us and you see her sitting there. That's all. That's about the, that's about all you can do with her in this game. So I guess the last thing to do would be Well, if I missed anything that you know of, let me know in the comment section for the few people who actually do watch this. And I guess now now's a better time to continue on. You know, we've got six or so minutes. We should be able to get at least the key to the next dungeon, and then the next video we'll start exploring. Never. I think I know that. I think I know the dungeon pretty well for the next for the next video. Um, what is it with me saying that? Parts of it are kind of fuzzy. The boss is actually really easy. I'm expecting. To fly through it, maybe one or maybe two or so videos tops, depending on how quickly I jog my memory. So I think there are actually two uh, water themed levels in this game, so if I'm thinking correctly, it shouldn't be a big deal. Wait, is there, are there two? I can't even remember. Uh, we'll just have to play through and find out. But here we go, our time with the beautiful Marin is over, and let's wake this son of a bitch. Oh yeah, someone's happy. <laughs> Get out of our way. 
<laughs> hey, it's a rabbit. So she's gonna spend some time in the animal village from now on, um, and we're just gonna we're gonna explore the yarn in the desert for a little while. Typical desert. Eh, it's more like a beach with cactuses. Little evil cacti creature. Jerks. Probably do some digging around here, find some random hearts and stuff when I need it, but. Let's kill these levers, explore a little bit. So, you know what? We killed these? No. There's nothing in that cave, I gotta tell you. I know it, I've been there, it just, when you fall through a sinkhole, we'll see in a little bit. But, always hidden things around here. Like a secret seashell. Secret seashell. Say that three times fast. Oh, speaking of the secret seashells, I decided I might actually go for the level 2 sword, might as well make this interesting. However, I won't gather all the seashells on camera, I think it's would be a waste of everyone's time. Because it's just meticulous, just, just heavy work. And oh, we have a mini boss after all that non dungeon work we've done. Alright, so he's got blades on the end of his tail. What the hell am I doing? Let's go. Alright. So the thing is, we have to avoid the quicksand, avoid accidentally walking out of this place, and not get killed. That's an interesting battle. So you gotta strike his head, apparently. He's like a nerfed variation of what we see in like, uh, Link to the Past, where those three worms come out of that second dungeon. But they're not shooting rocks at us every time they come out. Instead, we have to battle the quicksand, which I think is a lot easier. So where's that ice rod when you need it? Just a slow and... Ah, oh, there we go. Jerk! Yes! We've got the angler key. We can finally make our way to the next dungeon. Which, like anything else, is as far away from here as possible. It's back towards the Moblin's Keep, the Moblin's Keep, so we're gonna have to. It's over here. Oh! It's him! To the mountain waterfall. Leap from the top and you'll reach your goal. Which means not only do we have to go through a desert, we have to climb a mountain. For this, ugh, it's just, come on. What crap do you have to go through? Okay. So we're gonna go, we're gonna head back towards. You know, there she's singing. Everyone's happy. I don't care. So we're going to go back to, uh, through the warp point and make our way towards the Moblin's Keep. And since I'm definitely not going to make it through in this video, um, I'm going to show off something that I should have a long time ago, which probably would prevent a lot of deaths. Uh, we have potions. Run from the zombies. Is it up here? Maybe if I find it. Yeah, it should be up here. But yeah, this is Lady Who Sells Magic Potions. We're gonna buy one. Her name is Crazy Tracy. She's got rats. Hi there, big guy. <laughs> so pump us up. 28 rupees for my secret? Oh yeah. Come on, rub it on me, babe. Here's some bonus treatment. Sweet. So now we have the magic potion, we have an extra, uh, it's kind of like holding a fairy and Ocarina of Time. It will restore our health when we need it, but I think that's just about as much time as we have for this video, so join me next time when we go and finally make our way to advancing the plot of this game. Alright, I'll see you for more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX.